Welcome everybody to Peter Kemp OAM Ballpark here at Henley and Grange in what is D-Day for these two teams. My name's Andrew Sperling, I'll be your host today. I'll have some guests with me just to break up the boredom. So we're uh, looking forward to a great day. We're just about to kick off, so I won't hesitate too much. Get straight into the starting lineups for Henley. We've got Jack Partington playing centre field, Landon Hernandez at first base, Gio Garbella at left field, Willie Lee will hit for himself and be on the mound, Liam Bull at third, Pat Inglis at right field, Koki Yonazawa at shortstop, Jay Kuzner second base, Jet Clohesse will be behind the dish for the Rams and for the Sturt Saints. We've got Harry Nucky leading off at centre field, Mitch Lightbody second base, Jordan McArdle at right field, Joyce Terrell at, at left field, Jackson brebner Russ doing the same, he's hitting for himself and pitching, Dayton Mitchell at first base, Zach Oldemura at shortstop, Dylan Ridding third base, Mac Macbeth behind the dish for the Saints. Gee, this should be a very interesting day. Sturt took the prize yesterday, so they lead this as we speak right now. And it's going to be up to Henley to respond and take this match to push it to a third game to find the winner of the SABL, who is the champion for this year. Beautiful conditions here. Slight little sea breeze, which is not uncommon for these seaside grounds. Everything in good nick. Lovely crowd assembling. I'm sure more will pile in as the day progresses. But if you're anywhere around the world following one of your superstars here, welcome to you and we'll do the best we can. Thank you very much to Spacequake Sports. Always great contributors and professional at what they do. So they've rolled up here today. They're going to go the distance if that's what it takes. So we thank David and his team for presenting all of this to you today. The umpire's got Dalton Osborne behind the dish, Blake Halligan at second, Neil Poulton at, at first, sorry, Neil Poulton at second, Jack Treadray at third. And we are only moments away from the first pitch to kick off game two. Not sure whether we're interactive today, whether people can... Uh, chat with us and talk with us we'll find that out as we progress love to hear from you always helps Willie Lee the change up specialist left hander sets and delivers the first pitch strike down the shoot strike one Cracks one up the middle, base hit. <laughs> Terrific game yesterday. Kai Hampton versus Geordie Gross, two of the top pitchers in this league. And Kai got the job done. Wonderful full game effort from him. Or right to the end, Mitch Lightbody finished things off and that's who we've got in the batter's box at the minute. Second baseman and relief pitcher, Mitch Lightbody. Shapes to bunt, but ball. Harry not blessed with massive speed at first base and especially with a wily left-hander keeping him in check. Interesting to see whether they go through with this and look to bunt him to second base and create an opportunity very early. He squares around again and pops one up. Foul. Both of these clubs have been on very similar paths. Probably 15 or so years ago, the Sturt Saints decided to go on a heavy youth development program and let all comers win a couple of junior club of the years and franked it with a couple of A-grade premierships to go along with it as well. It's really Lee just piffs one over to first base. 
And Henley, probably 10 years ago, followed exactly the same path. A couple of junior clubs of the year, been in the, right around the mark the last few years as light body swings away and very professional hitting, just knocks one to right field and runners on first and second, none out. Boy, oh boy. These couple of hitters, McArdle and Terrell, are absolute monsters, and you give them a chance, and especially with runners on early, you'd be a brave man to not think that one of them's going to step in here and capitalise. As mentioned earlier, there's always just a slight little droop drift here Ooh. catches the outside part of the plate strike one Geordie respectfully asked the question important for hitters to know their strike zone and more probably as importantly know the umpire strike zone where he's got a tendency to call and not to call as Lee again delivers and gets a change up inside, ball one. One and one the count. This is down low again. Always important for a... Um, a slugger like McArdle that he sweats off on pitches like that early and it doesn't get too eager and here he is with a two ball one strike count and it's just a terrific opportunity be interesting to see whether Lee wants to challenge him or stick with the change up and try and juice a problem and he stays fastball and gets one past him 2-2 two -two. on first and second, none out. McCarty goes inside out, foul ball. Bit of tension around the place today. Always a tough game, this one, because... Oof. Wow. Full count. Lee. Delivers. Down low. McCarter walks. I went last weekend to Sturt to watch game two of Sturt and Adelaide trying to get through to the big dance here and boy oh boy was this guy on fire. Grand slam in the first, a couple of dingers after that and all absolutely legitimately hit, just mashes. See he hit a double yesterday in game one. So his strong hitting continues, and here he is, loaded bases, none out. Oh, he gets one off the fist. This might be real handy for... Oh, it drops. My words. And there's just 
you know, what nerves can do and just a bit of, you know, it was probably always the short stops ball and he just had to get behind and catch that regardless of how close the third baseman was. He was backtracking and trying to keep his balance and find it. So Jackson brebner who had a day out yesterday too with a homer and a double, takes a pitch inside, same situation. Load of bases, none out. Gee, Sturder just gifted an opportunity here to put a decent score on the board and put some real pressure. It's a hard ground ball. Trying to turn a double. They get one. They get two. But Sturt score another one. Very needy play there by Henley. Could look at the flip side and say that the last thing you want to do there is strike out or pop up. So Jackson did, did what a pro does and hit a hard ground ball, second base, and scored another run. Two zip. Two out. Top of the first. Dayton Mitchell in the box. And he takes a good lick at that and hits it to the backstop right around the mark. Been terrific to watch this big fella's progress this year. He hit fifth in the league in statistic. Playing first base for the Saints. As he prepares again and Lee comes to the plate and gets a fastball beautifully located. 0-2. Still a runner on third for the Saints. It's a ground ball. It's got her eyes through it, goes. So he knocks in McArdle. Gets the third one on the board for the Saints. Base hit, right field. Bring Zach Aldebura to the plate. Still only a boy, 17 years old. Probably got 40 or 50 A-grade games under his belt already. Playing a difficult position in shortstop. Takes a fast ball up, ball one. One of our most promising juniors and destined for a college career. There's Lee. Pictures again. And Altamir has got a hold of one. Deep left field. Hits the fence. Mitchell gets to third. Stand up double. Zach Aldemura. Boy, oh boy, the Saints just keep the pedal to the metal, not letting Lee off of anything. Down to the eighth hitter, third baseman Dylan Ridding, runners on second and third, two out. Take strike one. Change up, misses down. Definitely a pitch that change up specialists need hitters swinging at. So far, Sturt have been up to the challenge and haven't swung on one of those pitches. And again, he comes back fastball and he gets a half decent swing on it. One ball, two strikes. Pierce again comes to the plate, change up, down, takes it. Some really good research and discussion within the Sturt group, it appears, that again, a change up specialist, and I don't think they've swung at one that's been 
a ball. And there's the first swing over the top of another quality change-up from Willie Lee. So that retires the Saints. They put four on the board. I might have thought three, but I'll just double-check that. But a wonderful start. Wonderful start by the Saints. So we'll have a break. We'll see you in a sec. So welcome back, everyone. Bottom of the first. Saints revved out the blocks, put a three spot top of the first to really give his pitcher a little bit of relief and then his team and just mount some pressure on the Rams. Jack Partington takes downstairs, ball one. Great story, Jackson Brebner Russ this year. He'd finished last year just sore and hanging. Could barely do a pre-season. But the pro he is just got him back into some shape and just misses inside. 2 and out. Got himself back into shape and certainly the latter half of this year and moving into the finals, he's been a, a powerhouse for the Saints. As he delivers again. Ooh, a big lick by Jack. Foul ball. Brebner Russ again. Up high. Three and one. He's such a running threat, Partington. He's got wheels of fire. So if he gets on or gets a knock to the outfield somewhere, he it's red alert because he'll take every chance he's got. And here he is with a three-one count lead-off hitter. What's he going to do? Take one or inside and just catches the edge. Full count. Hernandez, Garbella, Willie Lee, Liam Bull to follow. Good hitting lineup. It's from the set. He comes again and he's gone deep and long. Being tracked there by Nucky. All the way back to the warning track and he takes the catch. Wouldn't be disappointed with that, Partington. Got a fastball up a little bit and just didn't quite barrel it up. Got a decent piece of it, but some beautiful outfielding. Great tracking by Nucky. One out. 
a little bit sticky in the batter's box. As the true pro, Hernandez, won't face up until he's dead set right and he takes a pitch up, ball one. Beautiful vision from our outfield camera. The money shot as he delivers again and misses outside. Two and out. Caps medalist Hernandez. One of those rare breeds. A big two-way guy. Brett Ross takes a little bit off it, probably knowing the pro will take the pitch, and he did, and he took a strike. Two and one. As Brebner Ross delivers again. Beautiful pitch. Good slider. Two two. Shortens up a fraction, Hernandez to be competitive and he gets one by him, strikes him out. So they brought it back to the suburbs this year. Normally grand final played at West Beach, home of Baseball SA and baseball in general in South Australia. They're throwing it back to the clubs and wonderful opportunity for the team that finishes top to fill the coffers a little bit and take advantage of the opportunity and Henley have done a fantastic job in their presentation as Garbella swings over the top of that slider again. 0-2 Two out, bottom first. Change up, Garbella. He's found a gap and he's quite quick too. This will be a double at least. Gio Garbella, last year's hitting champion. Pounds one into left to centre. Stand up double. Brings to the plate playing coach Willie Lee. Another unique two way guy. Brilliant pitcher. Outstanding power hitter. Could play numerous positions in the field, even though he is a lefty, but any outfield spot, first base. Two out. Garbella on second. Brebner Russ has a look at him and delivers for, to the plate. And again, another lovely slider. Strike one. Garbella, who's got some wheels. Not going to really do anything here, but still very important that runners get their proper leads to put pressure and make the pitcher throw to them. And he's get, got one off the fist, got one off the handle and hit a little flare to second base light body. And that's the end of the Rams and the, the first inning. Again, we'll take a break. We'll see you in a second.
Welcome back. Top of the second. Sturt leading three to zip. Lee Lee will be looking to settle things down a bit. He's got Matt McBeth in the box, the number nine hitter, the catcher for the Saints. Fastball strike. This is somewhere. One and one. Interesting both of these guys because they can often close and even though he's a little wind up Willie but not an exaggerated one and this is up and out again. One, two. Challenges him with a fastball and he takes it 2 2. Fastball down, full count. They're doing a great job, the Saints. They're really getting this pitch count up very early. He delivers again. Up. Oh, Macbeth walks. <laughs> Harry Nucky, who single to center it, lead off the game. Side. Strike one. Lee delivers again. Again, another crack to centre field, and that's going to gap as well. It's a chance. Oh, Macbeth will be held at third. Another stand up double. Harry Nucky. time and comes out just no doubt as a little breather for Willie and just let him just have a little break and a reassess and see what his rotation are because they're laying off his change up and hit just about every fat fastball he's throwing so they're doing a great job the Saints putting a lot of pressure on a class act in Willie Lee and here they are again, top second, runners on second and third, none out. So this will be interesting from Henley. They're going to allow runs and play back? I wouldn't think so. Surely they're going to be in. So Winfield plays in. Got to stem the flow here and avoid runs crossing the plate. It's Lee. Ooh. Fortunately, Henley. Not a massive backstop here, so it really probably needs to hit a post or hit something hard and deflect to be a real chance to score from third. Well, she get a great jump, great anticipation. Jet's a big boy, but he's quite agile. Willie will be right where he needs to be for him. And this is up. 2-0. and oh. So Lightbody got all avenues open to him here. 
Just be looking to hit something hard anywhere. This is down. 3 and 0. Lee. Fastball. Strike. Very experienced player, light body. Terrific player. Team of the year, second baseman. He'll know exactly what he wants and misses up and they load it. Again with McArdle, Joyce. Brebner, Russ, Mitchell, Altamira. Boy, they keep setting the table and going to take something miraculous from Henley to really stem some damage here. Geordie would know it too. He's got a massive opportunity. This is what he does and does best. Especially in the SABL. Oh, fastball and he's on it, but misses. Foul ball. Again, delivers. Something spinning. Misses inside. One and one. Barely had a cheap out as yet. Willie Lee had to really earn everything he's got. 1-1 one, one count. Spider. Called strike. 1-2. One, Location's everything for pitchers. Doesn't matter how hard you throw. If you throw flat and hard, they'll catch it. That was a beautifully located pitch, and he comes again and change up, down. Did he go? No. Again, beautifully held up by Mikado. Two-two. So he'd be setting himself here for a fastball. Delivers. Again, gets a little bit of movement on him. It was just enough. Ricardo strikes out. Big confidence boost for Lee, but nothing he'll be sitting on because, as I said, he's probably the player of the final series, Terrell Joyce. This guy is smoking hot at the moment. Loaded bases, one out. Infield still playing in, just left side, just retreated a fraction, and Joyce pitch up, swings through it, strike one. Right side still playing quite tight in the infield. So I said short stop because Terrell's such a powerful hitter, have retreated a fraction halfway. Again, he foul ball, 0-2. Boy, there's moments in games. Not specifically this pitch because he's ahead of the count and might just feed a couple here and there, but this is a big at-bat. Lee, down, change up. 2-2. Two -two. Beth on third. Nucky on second. One out. Infield staggered a bit in right side, back left side. Another change up down. Full count. A 
Well, look, I suppose depending which way you want to look at it, first base is free. Delivers again. Oh, change up and wow. Full count. Premier hitter against a classy pitcher. Delivers down, walks in. I'm sorry, loaded bases, so he walks one home. Apologies. Base is bulging. Jackson Brebner Ross, who I said yesterday had a pretty decent day, a double and a bomb. Feeling pretty confident with himself. Comes inside and misses. Could have fielded his choice four to six to three at last at bat, scored a run for the Saints. And again, prepares. Lee delivers and he cracks one. That is hit a long, long way, and that is a grand salami. Jackson Brebner Russ helps himself out being the pitcher for the Saints, but also helps his team out. Wow, we. What a blast. Tip your hat. JBR. Big time. He wants to make a pitching change here, but just has to work out the best way of doing it so he doesn't lose himself out of the lineup. Bang! Wow, just absolutely barreled that. The superb bat flip. Dayton Mitchell swings through. First pitch strike. It's ground ball, second base, Kuzna. Routine little four to three. Two out. Not over yet. Altamira, Ridding, Macbeth. All more than handy. Nice slider from Lee. Swung through. Strike one. Comes inside. Misses. One and one. This is up. 2-1. Nice pitch. 
Decent take by Zach as well. Had some tail that fastball outside to Altimira, so he took it and swings over the top of the change-up. So that'll be all for the top of the second. The Saints put on five big runs, have an 8-0 lead, top two. Well, we see you in a sec. Well, we, I reckon you could have thrown it around to a 1,000 people and asked, what do you reckon at the top of the second the score might be? And I bet you there wouldn't have been too many that would have it where it is right at the moment. Sturt 8, Henley and Grange 0. Hey, jump in the group chat. He's got that one off the knuckles, and that's going to be caught by Joyce. Beautiful read and anticipation. Yeah, tell us where you're viewing from, and we'll reach out and touch base with you. And Brebner Rush should be feeling pretty cock-a-hoop about himself. If that doesn't put a few mile an hour on the fastball, I don't know what would have scored a run on a fielder's choice in the first and hit a salami in the second. My goodness. And that one again just... Is off the end of the bat, but it lands in. Pat Inglis gets a single to eight. They need to build something, Henley. Easier said than done. Hardest skill in the world, old hitting. Especially when you're chasing such a big number like eight. Goodness me. Kaki Onazawa. Takes a pitch outside. Ball one. Mm. Again, didn't quite get all of it. And Popped it to left field and Joyce, covering lots of ground, takes the catch. It's one of those things as well when you're chasing eight. You know, you don't necessarily want quick inning. You want to try to put some pressure and get Brebner Russ's pitch count up a little bit, but he's just pounding away and they're taking most strikes. Well, they're taking a lick at most strikes, and so again, couple out here in the bottom of the second. Kuzna. Inglis on first. One and one. He gets one off the fist as well, but good enough to 
lifted into left field. Base hit, Jay Kuzner. Runners on first and second. Two out. If you've just tuned in, Saints in the first went single eight, single nine, walk, pop fly E6, fielder's choice four to six to three, single nine, single seven, strikeout for three runs. And threw five more on the board in the top of the second. Catch up, Jet Clahassi. Runners on first and second, two out. Brebner Russ. Um, Chloe Hesse swings over the top, strike one. Brebner Russ goes through his signs and they decide on one. This is up and out. One and one. Pops that up. Ridding going over there. Tracks it and it lands. Beat the three of them. Bit of luck for Chloe Hesse. That little bit of sea breeze which drifts it and carries it. One ball, two strikes. Two out. Runners on first and second. Boy, the Rams fans would be absolutely just crossing their fingers and hoping for some action and he gets punched out Brebner Russ finds the pitch strikes Clohesse out we complete two we'll come back a little bit early we'll see who's on board and we'll have some shout outs we'll see you in a second Welcome back. Early afternoon here in Adelaide, South Australia at Peter Kemp Ballpark. And yes, you are seeing it correctly. Sturt 8, Henley and Grown 0. As we sort of intimated at the late in that previous dig that Willie got out of it, but they've done a straight swap. Hernandez comes to the mound and Lee goes to first. And Hernandez immediately... Pumps a fastball over, strike one. What do you sleep out there? Where is everybody? Oh, two. 
Give us something, folks. Come on, give us something. And there's a breaking pitch. Strikes rooting out three pitches. Said, yep, I'm here and I'm going the distance, so get used to it. Number nine hitter, Macbeth. And again, beautifully positioned fastball. Gets a little piece of it. And it ricochets into Clohesse. Right in the soft tissue area. Yeah, tough hombre. Straps it back on and here we go again. One and one. Two count goes down two two. Down again, full count. Another excellent at bat from Macbeth. Walked at his first at bat. Stretch Lee out. And here he is. Stretching Hernandez out and it gets set. And a nice slide of it. He sits and waits. And foul ball. Two two. One out. Fastball. There's a chopper. Bull will come in from third and gets there and fires across to Lee. Five to three. Harry Nucky, absolutely on fire. Single and a double. Both up the middle, using the fat part of the ground. Just class hitting from the lead off. Takes one down, one and one. Terrific hitter, Harry. Beautiful pitch. Hernandez, breaking pitch. Rolls it over. One, two. Delivers again. Another breaking pitch. And a magnificent little first up inning. Landon Hernandez went out and just pounded the zone. Three quick outs. Exactly what the Rams needed. Come on. Interact with us. See you in a moment.
Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. Come to the bottom of the third. Right to the top of the lineup, Jack Partington. And the only recipe for Henley and Grange is to get runners on. Just any which way they can. Might seem unusual to maybe even just to try a little running barn, just absolutely anything. It's just there's no tomorrow and there's no good looking back and saying what if and what could be. They just have to have quality at-bats and fill those bases. It's a long, long road back, especially with a lineup that's feeling it a little bit with Sturt, and they're just such good hitters. Give you an example, they've gone through the lineup twice, and Henley have just started their second time around, so they've had 10 more hitters to the plate, the Saints. Hence why they've got a great big curly number on the board in Dog's Date. 2-2. Two, two. Good hit of Partington. Oof. Just misses down and out. Full count. Stay short to the ball and drive it somewhere. Brebner Russ delivers fastball too good for him strikes him out but it just goes to show you know no matter who no matter what when pitching's on song and you've got some runs under your belt and put some pressure on I mean look you know Partington Hernandez Garbella Willie Lee Liam Bull Pat Inglis, Koki Onozawa, Jay Kuzner, Jet Klohesi. They hit from one to nine, but they're just playing from behind and Brebner Russ is just on song and dealing at the minute. Ball one outside. Curve ball. A little up and in, but called strike. down 2-1 Jacko the true professional he is he realises where they're at even though we're not even halfway through but he knows he just cannot give this hitting line up anything so he has a bit of a wander takes time out, restocks 2-1 count to a class power hitter in Hernandez. From the hip, goes again. This is in. 3-1. Comes to the plate. Breaking pitch, rolls it across. Probably the last pitch Hernandez might have been thinking of a curveball 3 1 count, but he was good enough to get it over and he feels it. Oh, he crunches one. Oh, off the glove of Altamira at shortstop. Absolutely roped. Great example to all kids out there just to see how short Hernandez was to the ball then no big just went straight to it and crunched it through shortstop single eight Gio Garbella who 
won just about every offensive award last year in the SABL. Also a little short on the handle, just looking to be competitive, and he gets a fastball that gets through Macbeth, but Hernandez knows his strengths and weaknesses. Certainly doesn't want to be an out at second base. Not with this part of the lineup coming up. It's going to take six or eight hits by the Rams to get themselves back into this. Stealing a base or attempting one is not going to do the job and a beautiful slider or breaking pitch from Brebner Russ. He swings right over the top of it. One and one. One out. Bottom three. Another breaking pitch. Just executing like a superstar. Trying to keep that arm loose. He's flinging it and doing all sorts of things with it. Again, he sets. Hernandez on first. Garbella swings over another one, strikes him out. Just wonderful execution of pitches. Three breaking pitches in a row to a class hitter there, and he couldn't lay off any of them. Brebner Ross gets his man two out. Skipper, Willie Lee. Boy, wouldn't they like him to send one deep. Gets one up and in. Ball one. Beautiful location. Outside part of the plate taken. One and one. Slider down. Two one. Another one of those moments. Good little count here. Is he going to get his fastball? What's he sitting on? Two out, runner on first. Gets one up and in. 3-1. Seen JBR in the same count. Throw his slider here, so he's not absolute guaranteed to throw a fastball and that's the quality of a pitcher as he comes to the plate fastball in called full count what a class act he is two out full count and then this will be off on the pitch they're still holding him on Everyone resets. Gets on track. Again, he delivers. Fastball and gets him. Again, location, everything. Just a beautifully positioned strike there. In at the hands again. Too good, JBR. That ends the third. Sturt eight. Henley and Grange yet to score. See you back here in a moment.
it's a real tale of one side right at the moment because even um, Brebner Russ completes three 50 pitches, so wonderful economy from him. Very helpful when they're probably looking and you go as deep as they possibly can. I've got the president of the Henley and Grange Baseball Club with us at the moment, Dom Hodges. I know that he's probably not in the most talkative of moods right now, but I'm sure he's got many positive things to say about his baseball club. Welcome, Dom. Thanks, Berlo. And it's uh, yeah, not the start we wanted, but uh, baseball's a funny game. Finals are a funny game and uh, a lot of baseball left in this one. Sure is. And Hernandez came on the mound in the previous dig and just went bang, bang, bang. And he's absolutely on song early. Throws another first pitch strike and slider down. Yep. One and one. That's one of Lando's strengths. He doesn't mess around out there. He just pounds the strike zone, gets them to swing at balls. He wheels around again and comes to the plate and misses outside. 2 1. So, Senior Club of the Year, Dom. Another wonderful achievement for your baseball club and all through hard work and massive amount of volunteers. His light body pops up, Lee's under it. Be that little bit of drift, and there is, but he catches it. Pop fly three. Yeah, it was uh, extremely pleasing, Spurls. We've won a senior club of the year for three years in a row now, but this year we're really uh, we're really chasing the Div One Premiership. Our um, Division One, Two, and Three teams only lost a uh, combined total of twelve games for the season, so um, the future's bright. Oh, totally. And look, if these things were easy to win, Dom, we'd all be rolling up and just taking chill time, but. We know that there's just so much more to it and it's on the day stuff as well and sometimes you've just got to tip your hat and there's Hernandez again, just pounds a fastball in there. Oh, two. two. Again, from the wind-up and he wheels around and comes inside and cuts him at his knees. Jordy has a little... Smirk and enters back in the batter's box. One, two. Oh, good pitch. Change up. Pops it. Foul ball. What's been some of the most pleasing things about this year for you, Dom? Uh, senior club of the year. I'm um, looking at this weekend's lineups. Um... One, two. Breaking pitch. Gets him. I think the uh, the most pleasing thing is we uh, obviously had a Division 2 team that went down to West Torrens in the grand final yesterday, but uh, Division 1, 2 grand final teams have got uh, a total of 12 or 13 players who came up through our T-ball and under-13 program. So. Yeah, I was saying earlier, buddy, that... Uh, these two te- uh, clubs are like on a very similar paths. Probably Sturt started maybe five years before, junior club of the year a few times, working things through as Joyce swings at that one and one. And Henley probably five years later, same type of program, just all focus on kids. And again, to say there's 12 or 13 that have progressed through from juniors into his senior ranks is just a wonderful thing, Don. It's a breaking pitch and... Terrell gets a piece of it. Foul ball. One, two. And it's one thing to have a junior system, but it's imperative that there's a career path for them through to the hallowed grounds of senior baseball. And Brilliant achievement, mate. Oh, he rips that foul. Seeing out here, seeing... Jay Kuzner, um, Rookie of the Year. Seeing even young Koki at shortstop, who age is still very young. Bully is still a kid. The catcher. Yep, Jack Lohesse uh, made the all-star team this year as a catcher. So um, he's just, he's 19. So um, hopefully all these guys have got another 10 years of Division One baseball in them. Exactly. When you look at the 
Sturt line up. You know, Harry's been around a bit longer than them. Mitch, same deal. Jordan McArdle, Terrell Joyce. Bread and Ross as he gets Joyce. Landis, Landon continues his beautiful pitching form. Punches him out. So we might keep rolling, Dom, and talk about some things. What do you got for me, champ? Oh, just Lando. He's remarkable. We, uh, we've got to remember he hasn't picked up a baseball for two weeks. He uh, he wasn't available last weekend because his father-in-law bought the family a cruise six months ago. So um, he uh, he won us the uh, the semi and wasn't available last weekend and hits a home run yesterday and he's uh, turned up today and he's put the brakes on Sturt. So hopefully we can... Uh, fire up the bats now, we just got to chip away and, and two and three at a time and get back in this ball game. Yeah, it's a good call Dom, they not going to do it in one dig, I said last last inning that they needed to get some runners on and Land had gone on with a beautiful hitting and I hope that was an example to his team, he just stayed short, was in a tough count and he just ripped one through shortstop for a base hit and it's going to take many, many at bats like that for you guys to work your way back into things but again this weekend doesn't I look down your right field line there the Rams line and all your marquees out and there'd be a good couple of hundred people down that line and look at the opposite side at Sturt and very similar numbers down there so it means a lot of added pressure on you with canteen and your barbecues and your and the bar Yep, dead right spurs. We uh, obviously baseball is safe for the first time in years. Gave the grand final back to clubs, and uh, it's an absolute thrill to have it to host it this weekend. But it is the added pressure. It's been a big weekend, or well, big week with the Caps medal. We had our junior presentation Friday, and it's taken an army of volunteers to uh, to get the grounds ready, the canteens, the barbecues, the bar. Um, it's going to be worth it. Oh, absolutely, and. Again, you've got to tip your hat because this ground is a shared facility, so it's a footy ground in winter, and boy, oh boy, it gets dug up and cut up. So to all the ground crew, to see how really well presented this ground is, it's a, a real credit to them. So fantastic job to all of the boys as Bully goes down the line and gets it in. He'll be looking to leg a double here. Joyce comes up behind it. No great rush from him. Lead off double, Liam Bull. Yeah, the grounds do look fantastic, Spurs. Luckily, we have uh, we got five basically retired gentlemen at our club that basically work full time on the grounds. David Travascus, Paul Roxby, Andrew Dolman, Jim Burke, and Wayne Rowe, and it's uh, they presented us this weekend at the base base best baseball ground in the state. Yeah, it's certainly playing well. It hasn't hiccuped at all. And just being down the seaside as well with a little bit of sea breeze, a little bit cooler. And, yep, just a real a real credit to the baseball club. Fans continue to pile in. Inglis at the plate. One and oh. Gets a pitch down. and great believer and it's at pitches you don't swing at that makes good at bats and that was one that could have been swung at but he took it and gets a 2-0 count bull on second, none out top four bottom four, sorry and that pitches misses as well 3-0 and eight. Yeah, one of the keys is also uh, JBR's must be approaching 70 on his pitch count now so our uh, Batters have got to be smart and take some pitches and uh, wear them down and get to the bullpen as well. Essential. Four straight balls from JBR and there is some activity in the bullpen. For Sturt. Runners on first and second, none out. Matt McBeth goes out and Maddie Williams strolls out to join the party and have a chat as well. When are all your presentation nights, mate? Had our juniors on a Friday night, Spurs. Um, had a packed clubhouse. Got it done in a couple of hours because we had a ton of work to do. 
And our senior presos will be uh, this year at the Palais Hotel, April the, Saturday, April the 12th. And we're expecting about 160 to 170 at that. So looking forward to that one. Brilliant, mate. What about your social activities this year? What have you, uh, what have you been doing socially within the club? Oh, we try to do something once a month, Spurs. We've uh, David Travascus has bingo nights, horse racing nights. As Koki comes to the plate now. And was on first and second, none out. Normally a ideal bunting situation, but chasing eight. No, I think he'll be hitting away, Spells. He sure will, buddy. Just not the time for it. Swings over a fastball, 1-1. One, one. Essential that he moves his runners here. Obviously the chance of hitting into a double play, but he's got to as he grounds that hard down the first baseline foul. We had a big ladies day here in January. We've had a, a massive Christmas show, opening night. We try to keep it very social at the Rams. Yeah, brilliant, and I'm, we'll get to it because this is a pretty important moment of the game, but your juniors have been reviving as well, which is a wonderful thing to see. It's Brebner Russ to Koki, and he swings through it, strikes out. So down to the 8 and 9 here, Jay Kuzner, who got a knock to left field at his first at-bat. Yep, Kuzi, he's been a great player for us all year at second base. He's definitely filled the gap. SABL Rookie of the Year too, so um, he's had a great season. And he's a wonderful example to a lot of juniors out there that may not be the biggest kids going around. And Jay's had to battle adversity and a lot of knockers along the way, but... Uh, a lot of self-belief and a lot of perseverance. And here he is, SABL Rookie of the Year, and he gets a breaking pitch in the dirt, takes it one and one. Yeah, he's just got to use his... Uh, he flies around the bases. He's a contact guy, so um, hopefully he can find a sneaky gap here, just like he did last at his last at bat. A little shrug of the shoulders from him and sets... As Brebner Russ from the set comes to the plate and slider slides swings through it. One two. Takes a little bit off. Contact hitting. Brebner Russ to the plate. Oh, a nice pitch. Little down, little in, but a beautiful execution on a one two count. Two two. Brebner Russ again. Slide it. Misses out. Full count. So quality at bat here by Jay. Yep. Runners on first and second. One out. Really holding himself together, but from the Rams' point of view, essentially competes. Takes a pitch, strikes out. Beautiful pitch, just found a good spot and. Yep. JVR is uh, pitching well, same as Kai Hampton yesterday. These guys just uh, paint the edges, sliders away, professionals at their craft. Oh, totally, and it helps when you hit a double and a bomb, and today you've hit a 
Brebner Ross, he hit a fielder's choice that scored a run and then hits a salami. I mean, how strong would he be feeling on the mound? Yep. As an ex-pitcher that did hit a bit for himself, you'd know when you're on song and really going, it's a great confidence boost. And Jets drilled one into right field. McArdle comes, going to get over the top. Both runners will advance. So Hesse gets a RBI single to right field. Crucial for the Rams. Crucial because it uh, also gets us to the top of the lineup with Pardo up. So, um, nice two down rally here, bringing home two or three runs would be great. Runners on second and third, two out. Partington. Flown to centre field and struck out. Gets one off the foot, foul ball. Well, it's hurt him a bit. Right on the top of the foot. Beautiful image actually off the shin, which is even worse. So great vision there by the Space Quake boys. They hurt. 80 odd mile an hour fastball just clipped straight into your shin. Never pleasant. But here we go. 0 1 count. Two out. Runners on second and third for the Rams. Brebner Russ delivers. Beautiful fastball that misses the plate. One and one. Henry Crow doing everything they can to lift their team. 1-1. One, one. Brebner Russ delivers. Slider misses. 2-1. Boy, oh boy, you can just feel the anxiety and the tension. Nervousness. As Brebner Russ delivers again and he's hit one hard. Gone deep. Centre right field. It lands. One score, two score. Partington stand up double. Eight three ball game. Brebner Russ looking over to his bench and to the bullpen on. whether he's thinking that might just about do me he's got some work to be done he's got the real engine room of this Henley lineup this is down ball one boy he'd be chewing right into that high 70 80 pitch range right at the moment Landon is not going to give him one thing. He will not swing at a poor pitch. It's a beautiful slider and he swings through it one and one. Hernandez, Garbella, Lee, Bull. Two out. Nice pitch. Freezes him, he takes it. One, two. Like last time, the true pro, he'll just shorten as he does, even if it's just one inch. Give him massive back control. Hernandez in the slider and a great piece of pitching. 
gets himself out of the jam. Rams score three. Make it an eight three ball game as we complete four. Game on. See you in a moment. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you very much for sticking with us and tuning in. Spread the word, Baseball SA Facebook. If I know there's a few people out there asking how they can get on, so it's Brebna Ratz at the plate and swings through a first pitch slider from Hernandez. Foul ball. Gee, I'd like to know the percentage of strikes from Hernandez at the moment. It would be extremely high. Right in that 70 to 80 percent range, I would be thinking. And that's a big call, but. Oh, he gets a fastball outside, and that's been lifted to right field. But Inglis comes in and takes the catch. Yeah, I'm thinking our. Uh his last twilight game he pitched, it was a seven innings game, he, he threw a total of 70 pitches, so pounds his own. And maybe, just maybe, just being so fresh that he, he looks so fresh, he's lively, his fastball's got a bit on it, as Mitchell comes to the plate and first pitch strike. What would you expect, Spells? He's been on a cruise for 11 days, of course he's fresh. Drinking pina coladas and <laughs> loving life. <laughs> Breaking pitch misses up. One and one. And then there's... Ooh. Gets a pitch down right on the plate. It was met with Mitchell's bat. Half volleyed it straight into the plate. And foul ball. One, two. This is where he feasts. Because he's... As you said, he's always around the mark, so he keeps you on his toes and he gets one off the end of the bat, fields it himself. Mitchell's getting up his line, but thrown out by Hernandez. One to three. I know this is a pretty big call, Bills, but uh, with Landon, I've, I've never seen a guy in Baseball SA anyway, South Australian Baseball League, that can catch, that can pitch that can play infield, that can play outfield, hit for average and hit for power. He's just a complete baseballer. I don't know if I've seen a better all-round baseballer. No, I've got to admit and agree 100% with you, Dom. And, you know, let's add a you know hell of a nice guy and a police officer. Just, you know, he's an incredible citizen and father, husband. I don't want to wrap him up too much, but boy, oh boy, he's a rare breed and... Uh, 
He's just pounding. 1-1 one, one count. Like that one two. So all of a sudden he's got the Sturt hitters just unbalanced. And you can feel the momentum just slightly changing here. And yes, he did. See you later, Zach Aldemura. Landon Hernandez standing up and being counted. Just enormous. We'll take another short break. Hey, get on that chat line. Let's have a few things to talk to you about. See you in a second. Welcome back, everyone. As we discussed, there has been a pitching change. So Damon Arnold comes to the mound for Brebner Russ. And this is outside, ball one. Boy, there's just been all of a sudden a real bit of energy come to this park. He gets one down and in, called strike. Wonderful effort by Brebner Russ. Four innings pitched, seven hits, eight strikeouts, one walk, three runs, two weren't. For a guy that has also knocked one in on a fielder's choice and hit a grand slam. Magnificent effort, Jackson Brebner Russ. As Arnold comes again, 2 1 count and finds the inside part of the plate as well, but. I don't mind this at-bat from Gio. Not swinging, just making him throw strikes. 2-2 two -two count again has really come up the handle to compete. and oof, Breaking pitch. Just missed. Boy, Arnold's come out and decent nick as well. Full count. Bottom five. He gets his man. Swings over the top. Big games generally for big players, and you won't get a bigger one than Wilson Lee. And he again, Arnold rolls a breaking pitch over, strike one. one in the dirt. Yeah, well, he's had another tremendous season, Spurs. He was, uh, I think, his one vote off the Caps medal. Two years ago, when he first came the Rams as a player, he uh, he only missed out by one vote as well, and I think he uh, he got here late, so he only uh, he missed six or seven games at the start of the season. So, um... yeah, He's just such a class act that he 
just really, you know, he's an absolute fine hitter, awesome pitcher. Has been a bit quiet with the bat this year, um, but his pitching's been on the money, apart from today, obviously. Yeah, still average 327, Dom. Not too bad for, a, I suppose, what maybe you're talking on the power side of things, and he picks a walk. Base runners again, the real real key and real crucial um, thing for the Rams. They're not going to do this by a few long balls. They've got to build pressure and get to uh, mount some pressure, and as they do, Bully, who sparked them in the previous dig by hitting a double down the line and starting a rally which scored their three runs. Be looking to do exactly the same thing and shove his skipper around and that ball's in the dirt. That'll shove him around. Ball goes right over to the Rams. No, good call. Just didn't get quite a good enough jump to get the third. It was possible but needed everything to go right and Again, sensibly holds it to one one count. Yep. Running on second, one out. Arnold in his early time on the hill in relief for Brebner Russ. Comes again and bulls hammered one right field. Gone very deep, but Dayton Mitchell's. No, no, that's no, it's not. Geordie McCartley. Sorry, please. that's Geordie. I'm sorry, buddy. Tracks it nicely, takes the catch. Wilson Lee tags up and goes to third on a long fly ball. Two out. Still puts a lot of pressure on the pitcher. He's already thrown a couple of shorties to the backstop. Won't be able to do that. So a productive at bat from Bull when Inglis takes strike one. It's a pretty crucial dig for Sturt. Rams are on a little bit of a charge and Nice catching by McBear, fully committed. Keeps it in front of him. There's a little sense of a change of momentum here a little and stirred of sense that they really need to hold the Rams. That's up. 2-1. Gee, this game gets exciting sometimes, Dom, and it's just really risen in its intensity and the everything. And the English has drilled one, gone deep, gone long. It's gone. See you later. Well, well, well. Paddy English, two-run shot, really brought this game to life. 8-5 Sturt. And the Rams are coming. Such an important at bat for Koki and his team, more importantly. He really needs to keep the pressure on. Yeah, we need to generate more out of our seven, eight, nine hitters. Just in that Koki way, you often. Yeah, he's got the typical uh, Japanese Ichiro style there. Yep. Pulls out a little bit, but keeps the barrel in, and, and there's a slider, and he takes it. 
Good take. 2-1 count. Two out. Bottom five. Again, misses a fastball. 2-2. Two, two. Arnold delivers down. Full count. Again, Arnold up, walks, get some wheels on base. Be interesting to see how daring Henley and Grange are going to be. As Macbeth goes out and talks to his pitcher, just tries to settle him down a little bit and Boy, this is this game has turned, Dominic. Sure has, Bells. The momentum has totally shifted. Two out, bottom five. This is uh, wouldn't be surprised here for a little uh, Jay Kuzner running bunt down the third base line. Woohoo! That's a call. Cool. Arnold, and he cranks one straight to left field to Joyce. They get their third out. But the Rams put a couple more on the board. 8-5 ball game as we complete five. Stay tuned. It is really hotting up. So true from our chat line, talking about the wonderful Phil Siffy Alexander. What a, what a star he was. Same deal. Anywhere. I think he did play all positions on the diamond. Did he pitch? Oh, probably. Siffy. Do anything. Poor six island coolers down his throat at the same time. <laughs> I know, I was on that flight. <laughs> oh, the flight. I was in the clubhouse. As, uh, oh, we've caught a flight, I think, from Melbourne or something like that, and he's had eight, eight island callers on the way and fell asleep, and air hostess couldn't wake him up for an hour after the flight landed. No. I'm dead serious. No way. Not, no, I'm serious. not Phil Alexander. Yeah, he's Must have <laughs> the wrong guy. <laughs> he always <laughs> representing the Giants well. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, the count. Reading in the box. Foul ball. You know, these games really come down to holding your nerve and being able to execute with no pressure or under pressure but not feeling it. 
And boy, oh boy, again, they've got the master out there. So although it's still an 8-5 ball game, Sturt's way right at the moment with Hernandez, who looks in complete and utter control out there. I think he's going to uh, quarterback them home, and can they find some more runs? And boy, can Sturt hang on? Nice lick. Very good swing by Renning. Yeah, really big innings here, Spells. Eight, nine, number one hitters up. So we want to uh, want to put a zero up right here. Oh, good pitch again, but and they got Ten- they got Tyndall going in the bullpen too. So yeah. That's <laughs> Hernandez again. Breaking pitch. See you. Located, not entirely to the liking of the hitter, but there's not too many hitters that strike out that like the call. So, uh, standard number nine hitter, Matt Macbeth. And then there's down one and oh. Oh, oh, good pitch. Grand ball. Yamazawa gets it over to Lee. Two out. Top of the lineup. Jamie Nucky to the plate. Jamie Nucky. Jamie Nucky is uh, oh, sorry, vo- voicing Jamie. every uh, opinion possible over here and he looked very positive for the yeah, Sainers, but his young son, son Harry. Oh. Ooh, excuse young me. Young Harry, sorry. Break the hitch. Oh, he's really wheeling away and just working extremely quickly as well. Shakes a couple off. What's he coming with? Nice pitch. You're watching a masterclass, ladies and gentlemen. It's big Hernandez sets, delivers, breaking pitch. Fouled off. 0 2. And he gets one off the hands. Foul ball. Long foul ball. Didn't quite get it. But beautiful hands by Harry to stay inside of it and get a decent piece of it down the left field foul line. Yep, Lennon way ahead of the count, so I expect something here out of the zone. Two for three today, Nucky. Been their real starter. Breaking pitch, another ground ball. Yonazawa comes in, delivers. Side away, another six to three. Hernandez on a tear. The Rams looking for three to make it really interesting. See you in a set.
Welcome back, everyone. Boy, don't the later innings of any game, but in this instance, baseball get really, really interesting. Nervous, willing. Who can hold themselves together the longest? Chloe Hesse up to bat for the Rams. He knocked a run in and gets another shot straight over the top, a shortstop. The Jet Star. Yeah, Jet's been unbelievable for us this year. Um, Griff Webber ended up moving over to Goodwood. We gave Jet an opportunity to step up and take on the Div 1 catcher's role, and he hasn't looked back. What a wonderful young man he is. Just beautifully balanced kid. He's a big boy. Most not unusual for a catcher as Partington takes strike one. No, he's always a bit of a shorty with a bit of a puppy fat on him. In the last year, I think he's grown about a foot and a half and uh, stretched out. He was a great cricketer too, Spells. He was playing cricket for Woodville and uh, a couple of years ago he had to make the choice what he wanted to do and uh, the Rams are definitely happy that he chose baseball. Oh, most certainly. He, uh, yep. Terrific family. Stooped in softball and baseball with his auntie and his mum there on the Tomlinson side. Yep. Sue Tomlinson, a wonderful Australian softball coach, or was. In the SBA, I do get you that Big Phil obviously played for his state and Australia. As that pulls down as well, so 3 1. So all of a sudden, the, uh, there's a great deal of pressure on Sturt here. Tyndall has been doing some warm up in the pen. Shout out to my great friends in Brisbane and Ettridges. And Joel, that beard, buddy. Seriously. Have a good hard look at yourself. As Partington walks. Wow. First and second. None out. And again, the big, meaty part of the lineup comes up. Hernandez, Garbella, Wilson Lee, Liam Ball, and Paddy Inglis, who hit the two run jack at his last at bat. So, is this the inning? Slider, strike. Landon looking at the outside part of the plate as if to say, was it? Did it catch something? Dalton Osborne said, yes, it did, buddy. Oh, one. one Good hitting. Yep, yesterday, Lando... Uh he scored the only run of the game with his home run. I went, went dead centre over his Caps medalist 2020-2021 sign. <laughs> <song. laughs> Very apt. I bet he's got a little dream in that mind of his right now that a three-run jack would be something amazing. As Arnold comes to the plate and again he gets a pitch and slider again that was a little up but good enough right up at the top part of that strike zone one two count two on none out Arnold Hernandez just fights it off So 
Sorry, this already has been a pitching change. I do apologise again. This is Tindall on the mound. Sorry, folks. Comes again and gets his man. Location, everything. Fastball down and in. And then there strikes out. One out. So the Saints are just airing it out. They know they win this game and it's all theirs. So they're not worried about the next one. They are just concentrating on this one and throwing their best arms they've got. Got a lead. And they want to protect it. Got Bella. 0-1 count. Another good pitch. Hindle just... Also just great balance and great understanding out there. Executing his pitches. Two runners on, one out. Henley needing three to tie this ball game. Garbella pops one high. They'll tag, I would think. But Hesse takes off. He's going to get the third. Left early. Wow. You can see Benny Merton's there nodding his head and saying, mate, you just got a bit anxious and you left early. What a shame. Anyway, that snuffs that one out. That complete six. Still an 8-5 ball game. Strap yourself in, folks. See you in a moment. Boy, oh boy, what a game we've had. Sturt just raced to an 8 0 lead after two. And then Ram scored three in the fourth, two in the fifth to make it an 8 5 ball game. And it really has evened and tightened right up. But that three runs that Sturt are holding is just crucial. And uh, ooh, tries to bunt his way on and foul ball. Light body with a single to right field and a walk and a pop fly to first base. Wants to be a crucial base runner and kick things off for the Saints in the top of the seventh. Yeah, looks to get on any way he can. He knows he's got Jordy McArdle and Terrell coming up behind him and uh, we know the damage they can do with one swing. So uh, 
He'll look to get on. Body again, being a fighter, valuing his at bat against a quality pitcher who's gone three up, three down since he's entered the game. Again, he shakes a couple of pitches off and keeps the hitter guessing and comes with a fastball and light body. Drove at left field and Garbella, even though he Made it a little harder than it might have been. All you've got to do is take the catch, and so he did. One out. Henley have been able to quell the real big double punch of McArdle and Joyce, and they've both had opportunities with numerous runners. So they've been very crucial, but Geordie with a walk and a K2 and a KC... And Terrell with a, a pop fly error six and a walk and a K2. So I think for what perhaps might have been the thoughts and planning, we've been able to hold him and it's pitches like that, just nipping and cutting knees, hitting edges. Oh, and he works super quick and comes again and... He's up there and ready to roll. One on one. And the card goes inside out. It's going straight. Oh, oh Garbell has dropped it. It went inside out. Looked quite a little routine, but Garbella has dropped a fly ball at left field to open a little gate. First runner that's got on the base paths with Hernandez. One out. Hernandez again. And Joyce just extremely eager to hit and up close to those eyes and just couldn't resist. Swung through a high fastball. On one. Again, sets, delivers, inside, one and one. Working in on him again and got it off the hands. It's going to be a tough play. They get one. They get the lead out. Two out. Beautiful pitch again by Hernandez. Know that when Joyce can get extension, how powerful he is, and he's just pumping inside. Nice little flip from Koki to Kuzma for a force out at two. Yeah, pitchers have done well with Terrell this weekend. I think he hit five home runs against Adelaide last weekend, so um, I don't think he's done much damage at all over the two games so far. Touch wood. And here's Brabner Ross that's been the real standout from an offensive point of view in this game. Knocked in a run with the fielder's choice in his first at bat. Hit a grand slam with his second. Hit a fly ball to right field at his third. So he's feeling it and he'd want to be because Hernandez is dealing up a storm. As he sets and comes again. Hits him. You can hear that little crack right in the coxie. Nice. 
So just making sure that JBR is good to go. Get the all clear from Blake Halligan. Shout out to the boys in black out there, men in black. Done a terrific job today. So runners on first and second. Two out. Dayton Mitchell in the box. Check swings. Pop fly foul. Great stuff to see your old style unis as well, Dom. Yeah, we had our Heritage Round, our Heritage Day uh, a couple of months ago, so. Took some designs from our original uniforms back in 1945 and took them to uh, MC Sports. Ros, Steve, and Grant McCarran are life members of our club and they've come up with uh, uniforms which have been outstanding. Actually, the club and the boys love them so much. They, uh, they were initially designed just for a heritage round, but uh, I think they want to wear them every week now. Yeah, what a beautiful pitch on a 02 count. It's where hitting becomes a such a tough game, you must remain focused and what you're looking for is Hernandez delivers again and gets Mitchell, strikes him out move into the bottom of the seventh, still an 8-5 ball game catch you very soon Welcome back. Bottom seven. Eight-three ball game. Sturt's way. Tindall.
pitch, 2-2 two -two count. Both of these pitches would be assigned the job of finishing this off, getting to the end of this game. As Tindu comes inside and misses. Full count. Tindu again from the set, delivers up. He walks late. Liam Bull has been making some decent contact today. Fly seven, double down the line seven, and a fly to right field. Takes ball one. Once again, with Willie on, there won't be a lot of running. All going to have to come from the bats. It's Tyndall again delivers and a beautiful swing by Bull. Foul ball. Beautiful change up from Tyndall. Just full ball. Just went straight over the top of it. One, two count. Probably come with something similar. As he sets. And it does come with something different with that the same strike ball out. Must be some sponsors that you uh, want to have a bit of a thank you and a talk about, Don. Yeah, ALH Group, Andrew Gunn. Um, they've been our major sponsor now for about five years, Spurls. Um, Definitely help us out. Got the Ramsgate and the well, English. easiest way they got about forty hotels in South Australia. The easy, yeah, yeah. The easiest way to is remember which ones an ALH hotel is. Uh, look for the BWS <laughs> drive-through. Um, so if you're ever looking for a meal to take the family out, or looking for a quiet wine or a bourbon on a Friday night, do drive through a BWS drive-through. 0-1 Again Beautiful change up 0-2 Been a few of these moments today That get the lead off on And haven't been quite able to Push him around It's pretty crucial And he gets a nice slider And he strikes him out Two punch outs in a row to Tyndall also Sorry. had uh, MC Sports Spurs, who have probably sponsored the club for 10 years. Grant Sue, 10? Steve McCarran. Yeah. How about 310? <laughs> they have been around forever. What a wonderful couple and a great establishment they got, MC Sports. Just on Port Road there near the Woodville Road intersection, That's is correct, it? yep. Koki takes ball one. Tindall delivers again. Goes up the middle. He's got it through. Base hit. Koki Onozawa. Runners on first and second. Two out. Well, 
young Jay Kuzner. Looks to bunt himself on. Create a little bit of play of urgency. But foul ball. Oh, one, two out, runners on first and second. Another nice slider by Tindu. Gee, I've been impressed by the pitching today. I mean, obviously, Willie got away to a tough start, but all pitchers have given it their all and executed some mighty fine pitches. As Tindu from the set again delivers. Kuzna straight to short stop. Altamira comes in. Cleans him up. Routine six to three. We complete seven. Score has not changed. Sturt eight. Henley and Grange five. Top eight in a moment. Welcome back. Top of the eighth. Zach Aldemura lead things off for the Saints. Seven, eight, and nine. Zach got a double. And that's all the action that's been from the seven, eight, nine from the Saints. Pitch is down. Ball one. Got some other sponsors that spring to mind, Dominic. Ah, oh, Foodland, Westlake Shore there, the Zucos, they've been sponsors for a good part of 10 years as well. Baker's Delight, Westlakes. Harcourts. Harcourts, Smith, Monica Finesse. On, 2-1. mentioned earlier this youngster got his eyes set on college he's a real academic high achiever and a really solid baseball and a terrific individual so all things need seem to point to only great things for young Zach Oldemir in the future yep haven't uh, I haven't personally seen a lot of him spells but um just hear good things about him at the state tournaments. The uh, scouts are chasing his mum down, which is always a good sign. A little Winnie if they find her. That's down. Full count. So I think for the first time we've seen Landon in a bit of a... Like this type of count. He's normally just been pumping and pounding and he misses up. So Oldemira walks... Tonight. Sorry, go, mate. No, that's right. Just uh, not sure where his pitch counts out at the moment. 
obviously having the week off with uh, no pitching last weekend or no bullpens. He might be uh, Getting starting close. to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, I think he'd be in the 50 to 60 range at the moment, just on a guesstimate. Dylan Ridding shapes to bunt. They look to back pick Old Amira, but he's alert to it and slides back in. One ball. Sorry, one strike. Thank you, David. Shapes to bunt again. Just gets that nasty spot, that inside fastball, which is just awkward to bunt. Takes it. Wasn't overly pleased with the result, but 0-2. So swinging away now, one would be thinking. Hernandez and his crouch style from the hip delivers. And he bunts again, executes. Brilliant job. Cousin is there. Help Willie Lee out. They get there out. But the Saints get the job done. Put a runner in scoring with one out. Second, one out, top of the eighth. Ooh, comes inside hard to Macbeth and turns in, but it eludes it. One and out. This is outside, two and out. Yeah, first little sign that he's just lost his real punch and radar here, uh, young Dom. Two and O. One out. Top eight. Sturt lead by three. Nice fast, but Beth shakes his head, not sure on the fact that he didn't swing at it or... Wasn't happy with the call, thought it was outside. Did he? Two balls, one strike. And then this. Breaking pitch. Beautiful. There was that rhythm that we... I'm so used to seeing in this outing today. 2-2. Two, two. Old Amir is pretty quick, so anything, anywhere, and he'll probably score, and he misses outside. Full count. Get deep into your outing right around Lando and your beautiful pitch, but just misses. Well, let's have a look at that one again. It was a beautiful pitch, but well laid off by Macbeth. Yep, good call. Beautiful camera work again, Crow. Nice ground ball here, Spurs. It'll be nice to finish the dig with a double plate. Back to the top. Nucky. 
hitting 500 for the day. Double and a single. Been really the real spark plug right at the top of their lineup today. Hernandez again from the set and he delivers. He pops it up. Willie Lee's He's still under. fly. So after Landon's walked out to Mura, they bunted into second, walked Macbeth. Little infield pop up and light body takes a first pitch strike. Again, the old master. Delays, delivers, good pitch. <laughs> every pitch, every play for both teams, just crucial. Might appear as if the three run lead is unachievable for the Rams, but. Not entirely inside. One, two. Comes again. Oh, that's one uh, Mitch Lightbody would like to have back again. He strikes out on a high inside fastball. We'll take a short break. See you back here very soon. Welcome back, everyone. Getting to the real money time. Bottom eight. Rams. Desperate need of something. Some form of rally. Something to score. At least one run. You've got Jack Clohesse who kicked things off for him last time with a shot to centre. Second for the day. He's after him again. He's swinging the bat very well. Very confident. Great to see from a young 19-year-old. Not overawed. And on the flip side, Tyndall doing an incredible job for his team. Really slowed things up. Arnold relieved Brebner Rass and they knocked a couple off of him. 
Tindall's come to the mound and completely shut things down. Pitch just clips the outside edge. One, two. Oh, beautifully positioned outfield. Had him a little bit picked there, sitting in left to centre, and he got a breaking pitch and nailed it straight to him. So back to the top of the lineup for the Rams. Which is a good position to be in, especially where we are in the state of the game that got you reputably your best six hitters. Coming next. Oof, that looked inside, but a bit of late tail and crossed the plate. Another beautiful pitch. 0-1. Oh, Down. 1-1. One one. He's like the, the spark plug for Henley, isn't he? So if he could possibly... Do something special, it would really ignite things. Yep, just looking for Pardo to get on here. <clears throat> Most stolen bases again in the league this year, but uh, with uh, Lando, Geo, Willie coming behind, I don't think we'll be risking with it. Just back to back, couple of hits, <clears throat> try and score a couple. Tindall from the set delivers. Breaking pitch, and that one doesn't cut enough. Intimates the pitcher that it missed by an inch or so and got the affirmative. 2-2 Two -two count. One out. Bottom eight. Henley chasing three. Delivers again. Rolls over on it. Ooh, little jumble. Up and over it goes. That'll be an extra base for Partington. <laughs> so a routine ground ball or sort of he had to come and get it, but he had a boggle. And how often does it happen with a boggle? It just rushes you and puts you under pressure and consequently... Makes a throwing error. So Partington goes to second. One out. Hernandez. To say he is due is a complete understatement. Three strikeouts and a single for Landon. When he gets a call his way. One and out. Boy, a couple of these sluggers have. Nice pitch, he misses that one as well. Must have just missed outside. So Tyndall knows the quality of Hernandez, and he's nothing fat is in just ringing in his mind, trying to pick some edges, and he's missed twice. Two and O. Oh. Landon again, not just going to give his at bat up by swinging at a pitch that's not his. Takes a strike. Two and one. It's Tinder again. Ooh. It's a slider and he was right on it. All over it. But foul. 2-2. Two, two. Oh my. Oh Lloyd. See you later. Two-run jack. 
Landon Hernandez, 8 7 ball game. And the general, as he's known, look at this for a swing, bang. Quick hands, quick bat, barreled it and sent it 400 feet. Landon Hernandez, a hanging breaking pitch. 8 7 Sturt. One out. Garbella takes a pitch up high. Well, you did say he was overdue, Spurls, with uh, three, three strikeouts, but uh, he never counted the general out. Never. Geo turns on one and it's a long foul ball. Also being a little out of sorts apart from his first at bat where he uh, superb double but then strike out, strike out, fly eight for a, also a first class hitter as Tyndall comes again and just slightly up. Again the tension just rising. We all know what Geo can do, Spurls. A triple crown winner from last year. Just one swing right here can change things. And he knuckles the ball straight to shortstop Altimura. Takes the catch. Two out. Even though yesterday a 4-1 ball game, I mean, separated by a couple of long balls from the Saints to quality pitching performances. And again, although this one was looking a little awful for the Rams early, they're the team that have got the pecker and the will to want to finish. And Sturt are just hanging on, hanging on. 8-7, Sturt's weight, bottom eight. Little Lee, ground ball. Aldemura backhands, gets rid of it. Beautiful play. Six to three. Henley put a couple on the board. Make it very, very interesting. I'm sure you're not going anywhere. We'll see you in a moment. Well, the tension levels at Peter Kemp Ballpark are right on the edge. 8-7 ball game, top nine. We are in for an incredible finish. Right in the meat, the heart of the lineup for the Saints. 
So if ever they're going to try to pad this one-run lead, one would be thinking it is right now. Starts with the ball, Mikado. Walk, K2, KC, E7. Swings over the top of a changer from Hernandez, 1-1. Hope you've enjoyed this today. Thanks again to Spacequake and to Henley and Grange who have put their money hand in their pocket and created this for all baseball SA and interstaters and everywhere from around the world. I believe we have put on a real game for you. As Hernandez comes again and gets a pitch at an awkward height for a hitter and he takes it for... Strike two, two two count. Really good two spells for all of our, our imports for probably the five, ten years. Yeah. Gets his it's man. Two. Yeah, the imports, we stay, still stay in touch with a lot of them and on Facebook and email, and uh, they can tune in today from, from America and watch a game. So it's uh, credit to Space Quake and what they're doing for baseball. No, you're not wrong. And also, I bet you they are on the edge of their seats. Yep. Mums and dads, people that couldn't make it today. Well, there's a rip. Joyce, who gets on with a base hit left field. guy who has just been stellar the last two days, Jackson brebner Russ played every innings of this series thus far and here he is runner on first, gets a breaking pitch he's going to turn a double play a one to six to three adios they get through a very quick inning and now it is all down to the bats of Henley and Grange. Stay tuned. Get a quick refreshment. You'll need it. See you in a sec. All right, we're back again. Boy, this game, I tell you. I wasn't so sure that Henley were capable of this. The full arsenal that the Saints had and the little tail up that they were early. But I tell you what, it's been a very gutsy effort. Sturt scored three in the first, five in the second and the Rams have scored three in the fourth two in the fifth, two in the eighth eight seven ball game and we've got Bull, Inglis Yonazawa to see if they can manufacture a run and Bully first pitch has popped up Altamira shoves everyone out and takes a infield pop fly Paddy Inglis. Single eight. Warp. Home run to left field. Strikeout. Had a pretty good day. But gee, you got to tip your hat to the man on the mound for the Saints at the moment. Tyndall, is he 
holding himself together and executing. Incredible job. Oh, a lovely pitch. Just down. Ooh. That looked good from here, Spurlo. One and one. Takes a big, deep breath. Sets himself. Delivers. Breaking pitch. Popped it up as well. Light body underneath it. Calling everyone out. Takes the catch. Pop fly four. Sturt Saints. One out away from being the Baseball SA 23-24 champions. What have Henley got left in the tank? Koki Onozawa. The entire club on his shoulders right at the moment. As Tyndall delivers. Finds the outside edge. Strike one. She sets again with a little staggered leg kick and delivers. And Yonazawa swings over the top. 0-2. Boy, feeling tension. Big moment. Tyndall again. From the hip. Delivers outside. 1-2. Again. Down. Macbeth. No runners on. But just sending a message to his team and saying, I'm the backstop for a very good reason. He blocks a pitch just to tell his pitcher, I've got you covered, buddy. You do the job and I'm right behind you. 2-2. Two, two. two out. Bottom nine. It's Tyndall. Prepares. Delivers. Yonazawa strikes out. And that is game set. Match Sturt Saints. Wowee. What a ball game. What a ball game. As we know, always a winner and always a loser. But my word, what a sensational effort by both clubs. Yeah, it was, Spurls. Uh, hats off to Sturt Baseball Club and John McClure, the president there. He, um, they came out yesterday ready to play. Kai Hampton threw a blinder for him to get him off to a great start. And uh, once again, wasn't the start we wanted today. 8-0 down, but the boys show a lot of um, resolve and came back to just lose by one. So um, thank you today, Spurls, for commentating. Pleasure, buddy. And, uh, and once again, to Spacequake, um, you always put on a great show. I hope... Uh, Henley and Grange supporters and members can be proud of the fight back today and uh, once again two grand finals in a row um, it's going to hurt but we've got to come back stronger next year it's the only it's, it's the only thing we can do so uh, yeah disappointing day for the Rams congratulations to Sturt and uh, we'll see you all next year yeah and congratulations to Matty Williams in his first year of coaching the Saints maybe the first year he's ever really Head, head coach to group and uh, you know it's wonderful to see the sportsmanship I mean it you know sucks when you're on the losing side and when you're on the winning side to show a bit of dignity and a bit of respect and just wonderful to see everyone with their chins up and showing a lot towards each other it's been an absolutely spectacular final series everyone should feel extremely proud of themselves and to the Henley and Grange Baseball Club, who've done such a magnificent job this weekend to put this on and provide such a fantastic uh, atmosphere. And yeah, it was a huge effort, Spurs. I'd like to thank our members, um, the people that came out, as I said, the grounds crew, people that run the canteen, the barbecues, the uh, hot chips inside, the bar. Um, we really put on a display to a... Uh, to the baseball public and uh, showed them how to do it.
Oh, absolutely. And again, I just perhaps we'll just finish up with um, we'll leave the vision running so you can see a little bit of the presentations. Perhaps, maybe. David's looking at me very negatively, but uh, you know, from Spacequake Sports, who came on at late notice um, and had commitments, but made an effort to be here, knowing that how important it was for baseball in this state and the country and the world, really, that uh, we'd really like to thank David and the Spacequake Sports crew, and no doubt you'll be back with the Giants and doing all things great next year. So we'll sign off from here. It's been an incredible day today, one hell of a ball game from Andrew Sperling and the crew at Spacequake Sports. Au revoir.